What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? You know who I am. And it's obvious you know what I do, as you can see right here. I got the video thing going. I got the camera rolling. I got the glasses on. I got the skull cap. I don't have the earrings in yet. You know, it's a little early today, so I, you can't wake up beautiful every day. Every once in a while, you go wake up average. So I know how you guys feel. Today, I'm going to talk about some stuff. This is shit that I can't make up. Now, I saw a video on here from enough. somebody who's on style, like... And I'll put the link down here. It's fearless, I think. I might put the link down there. This is a video about most depth. Uh, he's banned from quote unquote banned from America. I'm gonna talk about the subject. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk I'm just gonna touch on it. You have to have, if you if you give up your American citizenship, that's not the thing to do. What you need to do, you need to keep your American citizenship when you move to another country. That's all I'll say about that. I don't wanna hear no little shitty arguments and yada yada let's have a fair no side deals. Alright, well I I, I put the article, the link to the article that he linked, I went and read and I saw it. So, but what I, like, what I, what I, unlike a lot of people, I may, I put it in the search bar, which I'm explaining a lot, I'm explaining how to do this stuff to a lot of you people who don't do this. I put it in the search bar and I put the whole most deaths not allowed in America and then it came like a bunch of sites, like known sites that say this. So, I, I put this, I went to this one group on Facebook and I put the link of the of where it says how what happened, how he got, you know, quote unquote banned from America. And, I, and the minute I did that, all these pan and skillet Negroes wanna come out of the woodwork on me. And but but they're saying that they weren't talking about the subject at hand where he is not allowed to enter the country as an American. By the way, most Def is an American rapper, Brooklyn, but uh, nobody wants to talk about how he's uh, an American who is banned from America. To me, that's the topic. To me, that is shocking. To me, I'm like, how the fuck are you going to ban an American from America? That's what I'm going to another one, well, I'll get down the road that. And what I was getting, I was getting a lot of bullshit, like a lot of bullshit arguments. You know how some of us do. I, the, I was getting this one, well, you do know that picnic they're showing of him crying is from his documentary. And I'm like, fucking really? I'm like, wait a minute. You're more concerned about the pick that's shown, which I had no control over with the pick. Because when, once you post the link, the pick comes up. They can use that. They can use a pick of him to say, "Well, this is who he is." That's what a lot of websites do. But I was, I'm, I was like, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking this, and I can say this. I'm like, "You ignorant motherfucker!" All right, I shouldn't. I don't like to cuss like that, but this is what I'm thinking. An American gets banned from America, and all you can say to try to get your claim off is, well, "You do know that pick is from a documentary made." I'm like, and I told her, "You could have a pick." Of, I told this chick, "You could have a pick of him playing kickball." I don't give a shit. Does that change the fact that he's banned from America? You know, I can't make this shit up. You know, they start, you know, all these emotional state, all these emotional thinkers. Then they start getting mad. Well, well, is this source legitimate? And I don't believe it. Yada yada yada. So what I did is I posted another link from a well-regarded source, and all of a sudden people were still getting mad. Well, I don't believe it. He hasn't come out and said it. I'm like, they're giving money away. I'm like, research this shit for yourself. You don't believe me. Then all of a sudden somebody says, well, I have a link describing that he's not that this, and this is what his friend said. I'm like, that's what his friend says. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying his friend's a liar. I'm not saying nobody's a liar. I'm just saying if, you, if, if a, an official from the government says that he's not allowed in for a minute, who are you going to believe? An official from the American, U.S. American government or an official from or, or his friend? I mean, realistically, I want. I hate this. I'm gonna believe the, the government because it's more official. Like his friend, his that's his friend. He may be mad for all I know. But as far as like the official saying, I'm gonna believe the government. Now a lot of you guys aren't crying, wanting to give me like 20 million excuses why not to believe the government. But leave that Illuminati shit alone. Leave that the government is against everybody alone. Look at the facts and look at common sense. 
Then they start pulling a lot of stuff out of their ass. This one person posted, and the, the, what the person I posted that posted that, what his friend said from the same very site, from the same site. I went on there and I looked and I pulled up where it said he was banned from America. And I was like, this is not hard to do. Like, this is really, this is really uh, like educate. I mean, uh, how can I almost say this is very primary school type stuff. This is like K through six type internet search I'm doing. I'm not really going into molecular structures with you people. I'm doing very basic searches. Don't post up. Like all you have to do is most deaf banned from America. Post that up in your search bar, you get a bunch of this sites. And people were like, well, I don't believe this site. That site doesn't know. That's messed up. He's allowed back in. I'm like, read what it said. Read what the comments, I mean, read what the other sites are saying. They're all saying the basically the same thing. They refunded people money. I mean, and, and then this one person tried to give some bullshit reason. Well, he's doing a movie. He doesn't have time for a tour. sounds stupid. I have to cop that one out. That sounds like the dumbest shit I ever heard in that room. Let me get this straight. You're going to make a movie at the same time you're going to do a tour. I mean, I know some people have done it, but at the exact same time, you're gonna, it, it just sounds stupid. So you mean to tell me his concert date he got over there in fucking Topeka he's going to have a, a film shoot over in fucking Cape Town the same day? There is no way logistically, outside of you being Superman or the Flash, you're having a time capsule, can he do that? But like I said, a lot of these pan and skilled Africans will try to come at you with that. They'll come with you with the, like, the dumbest shit you ever heard. But like I said, you're, I'm coming with like factual evidence. I'm coming with stuff where if you look it up or dig deep. And like I said, I'm only doing like K through like like sixth grade research. I'm not going like you know, master's degrees, thesis, and lecture structure. I'm doing very simple researches and just searching the toolbar. You know, like I said, they start pulling out of their ass and, you know, how the U.S., how you we went to a safe place, how the U.S., here's the one, the U.S.A. wasn't safe. And I said to myself, he lives in Cape Town, right? And, I, and let me tell you something, he's not living in the worst part of Cape Town, I can assure you that. And then South Africa is, is more dangerous if you don't know about it. And like, here's what I tell a lot of these pan and skilled Africans. A lot of them are singing the praises of Africa and the whole step and all that other stuff. But at the same time, let me ask you this. You won't see none of them moving back to Africa. They'll sing you the praises and how great it is. And if you start talking the truth about Africa, they want to cry and whine. But at the same time, they ain't leaving the west side of their city. They never visited the south side of their city. They're going to stay on the east side of their city. They're going to work on the north side of their city. A lot of these, a lot of these pan and skilled Africans are, are leading you guys down the wrong path. What they're doing is they're saying, well, well, Africa's a great place. Why do you hate Africa? I don't hate Africa. The fact of the matter is I'm an American. When you go overseas, if none of you Negroes have been overseas, they call you American. At first, they may think you might be from Africa, given that once they, once they see you, or you might be from Haiti, or say if you're from like the, England, they may think you're a Jamaican. But once you open your mouth, oh, you're an American. They do this with all sorts of people. It ain't hard to do. Whenever, whenever white folks with brown hair go across the sea, go across to these countries, they think they're either a European, or if they're in a European country, they think they're from that country until they open their mouth and then they're calling it American. This is just general shit I'm telling you people. This is not like stuff I have to research. It's just shit I know and shit you should know. But you know you what? You always want to be right and you don't believe anything because you listen to these sucker ass black leaders who tell you to stick them out the same game plan the whole life. Like this is simple stuff. I mean, let me, just, let me see, what else did I, I had to write something down because it was just so, it was just, the coonery and buffoonery was, it, it was off the Richter scale, it, it was like, it was like the size of the San Francisco earthquake, you know, fucking buildings were coming down, and you know, and the bad part about it, then they, and, you know, then all the five lines were mad at me, like when I call the five lines, there's a lot of fuckery in this, in the pro, pro I don't know, I'll talk about that later, the, the five lines, there's the five lines in pro-blackness, and I'm going to show you who they are. But I'm gonna talk about that later. But yes, I said they were talking about all sorts of. Well, how do you know that picture is him? I'm like, lady, I didn't post that picture, dude. The picture was came with the website link. I didn't do that. No, I, I could have jumped in the muck and like went like the way they went. 
But I'm to the point now, I'm not dealing with these with these silly Negroes like this. I'm not dealing with that. Then a lot of want to like throw the threats this and that. I'm like, look, I'm not above being threatened. I'm not above whatever that. But all I'm saying is keep that stuff on the internet. Because like I said, the minute you get found out in real life, the, and let me let me do a side note for a lot of these little little Johnny Dangers want to throw threats at you on the internet. I'm going to tell you right now, those are the biggest snitches in the world. If you go and touch them, they'll file someone with the police. It's just, it's just how it is. That's why I don't take this internet shit serious. If you see me outside, you got something to say, say something. That's all I got to say. If it was really about that, you wouldn't be on the internet crying about it. So, back to the lecture there. But I, I'm just saying, I just did a rudimentary search. I didn't do no depth in-depth search, but I found what I found. One, I think one, one link was from The Guardian, and that's over in the United Kingdom. So, all I'm saying is, I can't, you can't make this shit up with these people. These pan and skillet Africans, all they want to do is argue with you. You can say nothing bad about Africa. Let's put it this way, if Niger like, like I made another video. This chick tried to tell me Nigeria was safe, or tried to tell her our whole group. And since she goes, well, you just can't go to the northern, the northern states. Well, then Nigeria isn't fucking safe, is it? Because you cannot make this shit up, and I, you know, it, 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 you, I get a laugh, but it's sad. About it. You know what I mean? It's real sad. It's pitiful. So a lot of uh, that's why a lot of these younger people and people my age who've seen a lot of stuff are like, it ain't happening no more because we know you guys are lying. So, oh my, peace.